I'm Eric Novak at the Bill Fish Forge Stewardship and Education Centre in Stouffville, Ontario, just north of Toronto. We're here to take a look at a spectacular new building that, uh, in terms of sustainable design and energy efficient design, is perhaps one of the most stringent and environmentally responsible anywhere you'll find. It's a building that's qualifying for something called the Living Building Challenge, of which there are less than 10 currently certified buildings in the world. This is a, a, a long-term project and part of a, a, an overall vision in the York region forest that's exciting and I thought I'd bring myself up for uh, an educational experience not only for myself but for my students as I'm a part-time professor at Seneca's uh, uh, Seneca College in Toronto where I teach in the Green Business Management Program. So let's take a look at this building inside and find out what makes this center so environmentally responsible. The Bill Fish Forest Stewardship and Education Centre was a, a structure to replace an existing building we had here which served a purpose for decades. It was a small education space with a boardroom and a great uh, hub for the trail use of the forest area. So about five years ago it was time to, to replace that building. It had lived well beyond its useful purpose and so a team pulled together with Regional Council's blessing to consider the possibility of doing something unique, something special in the York Regional Forest. The Living Building Challenge is the world's most demanding standard for sustainability in the built environment. It is a rating system as well as a philosophy and an advocacy tool. Uh, this building is, is very unique. It's the first building in Eastern Canada pursuing the Living Building Challenge. And we've done so by pursuing a number of strategies that speak to the petals of the Living Building Challenge. A really uh, ecologically restorative building and site that blend with and reflect the site that's around them. A passive house informed design that has pursued net positive energy and a sustainable materials strategy that begins with the embracing of timber structure and wood uh, as a building material and it goes far beyond that and, and really has, has gone a step above in pursuing the red list materials requirements and, and pursuing materials that are healthy for mankind and the environment over time. The function of the building today is for a corporate uh, boardroom and learning space. It also uh, fulfills our nature's classroom requirement. We bring in youth uh, the elderly, a variety of people from all walks of life to learn about the forest and connect with the forest. You know, one of the problems with forestry, of course, is we're having here in Ontario is the emerald ash borer, and ash trees are dying. Want to see a real sustainable aspect? Check this out. That's emerald ash. That's great. Sustainability, dealing with the problem, that's a net positive for me. You know, so many of the strategies we've included here, like timber structure with CLT and glue lamb, is, is is really growing and uh, you know just this year the Ontario Building Code has allowed wood construction up to six stories. There is a project under design in British Columbia that's going up to 18 stories with a wood concrete hybrid structure. So these strategies are really becoming part of the norm in the built environment. It, it's really happening. This is really a building that has a number of technologies and strategies that are future cast, that are you know coming to the mainstream and coming to the market. The Regional Municipality of York has a long environmental legacy. Through Council's leadership, they have supported many, many environmental projects over decades. And this is just one example of the, uh, the strong environmental leadership that they've shown. So the ability for York Region to support the construction and now use of this living building challenge structure is very consistent with, uh, with Regional Council's long-term environmental vision. So after getting a full debriefing on all the elements and all the planning that went into the structure, a few things come to mind. Number one, this is a, uh, given that it's a leading edge concept, there was a lot of work involved, perhaps more work than initially would be uh, hoped for. 
There's scalability in this though. Well, it may not be a short-term scalability situation to where we get uh, all the techniques and design ideas implemented on a broad scale. We certainly know that everything here is doable and that's really the key. This is something that's not a one-off, at least we hope not. We hope to see more uh, designs such as this meeting as, as many stringent, uh, stringent and actually viable techniques and strategies going forward to make all of building and construction more sustainable and viable for a healthy, sustainable society. I loved coming here. Now it's not a public facility, it's something that's here just for the York region to uh, to uh, look at and to use themselves, but it's certainly something that we hope to see more of in public and private settings all around the world. From the Billfish Forest Stewardship and, uh, and Education Center in Stillville, Ontario, for EnviroDad.com, I'm Eric Novak. If you like this review, we've got more of them, both written and video, at www.envirodad.com. There's also a Facebook page for you to like, and you know what? We're even doing Twitter as well.